We do not attack journalists. We announce our kidnappings through the New People's Radio. We do not mutilate our victims. So you'd know for certain if the hostages were being held in the Glagos province? Yes, through our underground. Un moment, eh? Un moment. These men, they are not here. These rebels, they are imposters. We are being blamed for this debacle. It has done the NPA a lot of harm. Maybe that's the idea. To spread you and make a killing with the ransom money. But who? The junta. And what would they have to gain from the kidnapping? Money. A flow of foreign currency to prop up their falling reserves. But the amount is just chicken feed. Any input would get an accolade from the generals right now. Come on. The generals wouldn't get involved in this. Blow their credibility with foreign governments if it got out. What about Perez? Did he risk it? He's too nice for anything so internecine as this. Ambitious, but weak. The only liberal in the regime, our only hope. No. It's impossible to say who in the junta could be behind this. Possibly an iron ore mine. But there's only one still working here in the north. Or could it be a disused iron ore mine? There is one here. Uh -huh. And here also. And some old workings near this town. But most of our iron ore comes from the south in Gallegos. How about some other kind of mine? Gold, silver? There is a gold mine here. On the coast. And that's a working mine? I think so. Stop there. Look. See. Si. Pueblo de Concepción. You notice the spelling? It's American. This is a spent gold mine. Here, near the village of Pueblo de Concepción. It used to belong to an American corporation. West of San Navarro, just off the Pan American Highway. It's an hour from here. Thanks. <laughs>